All right, we're gonna be continuing on our quest to uh, make the world a worse place by uh, terrorizing China with our uh, great architectural skills. Because I swear to God, this game just made me realize within one session how terrible, <laughs> how terrible I am at city building. But hopefully, hopefully we'll get a bit better. Um, it gives you some really cool, neat tools. Um, to try out a few different things. But yeah, so, um, we're off to our first real campaign. No more tutorial island. The Shang Dynasty. The end of 400 years of Z... Oh my god, all these, all these freaking Asian names. It's gonna kill me. Xi rule resulted in the rise of the Shang Dynasty. During this period, powerful warlord kings used the wise seers to predict the future based on interpretations of cracks in fire-heated oracle bones. Many of these predictions were then etched into the bones, planted the seed for a written... Oh, planting the seed for a written language. Elaborate bronzeware were cast and used during important ceremonies to pay homage to the ancestors and heroic figures. Take this path to walk in the footsteps of the Shang. Oh boy. All right, let's get down to it. During the time of the Xia, our people learned the art of farming and settled along the fertile banks of the northern rivers. But the self-indulgent kings of Xia grew fat and lazy with power and lost touch with their subjects. Cities attacked cities and barbarians burned our fields. But the people were not forgotten by all. For in the distant province of Xia, a bold new leader, Tang, came forth and vanquished the pitiful Xiang. The victorious banners of the Shang now flutter in the breeze over the capital at Xiang. To strengthen his base of power, our new king wishes that new towns be established. It is for this important endeavor that you have been appointed. Build a new settlement at Bo. Fill the town larders with meat and millet, and the noble Tang will see to it that the settlers arrive. Do not be surprised, however, if you receive a few requests from Xiang for some handcrafted ceramics. Right, so 600 people in spacious uh, dwellings and 12 crates of ceramics in one year should be easy. The Xiang lasted from 1600 BC to 1046 and fell to the Zhao Dynasty. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, I know those guys. Um, right, so uh, yeah, we're playing on very hard difficulty. And uh, let's see. Let's see how I'm going to be torturing myself today. So what do we have? Doesn't look too bad. Doesn't look too shabby. Nice little river. Flows nicely. Um, what about irrigation? Let's see. Let's take a peek at the water table. Hmm. Oh, I see some fertile lands near the river bank that we could exploit. And that is probably where I would want to build my farms, which means that I probably want to try to at least build my... Um, a livable area up here, this little section. And we'll see how that goes. I see some uh, birdies. We have a clay pit, we have workshops, we have a mill, common square, some shops, warehouse. Anything else that stands out in particular? Doesn't look like we have access to administrative buildings yet. Music school, ancestral shrine. Okay, so to be fair, um, <laughs> I've forgotten like half of the things about this game. Um, so we're gonna have quite a fun time, but I'm sure I'm sure we can uh, pull something off. Yeah, we do have access to farms. Excellent. That's kind of what I was hoping for. Okay. Do I have access to avenues and the likes? I don't seem to have access to avenues and the likes. That's unfortunate. So how about we just start with a simple block, have some houses in the middle. We need 600 people, that should be easily doable, right? Don't be an issue. So, let's see. Mm -hmm. Let's draw up something uh, pretty rough. 
This might also be way too rough, I'm, I'm just saying. Uh, we'll, we'll see. Yeah, that is way too rough, okay. I'll uh, make the turn right down here. I think the inner block can be roughly about three houses, that shouldn't be much of an issue. And then we pull it down for... Oh god, it's not uh, rounded numbers, it's 22 per block, oh boy. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Um. <laughs> um I, I feel like the block could be bigger by at least one or two. Uh, uh But my cut is telling me that I'm wrong, so we'll keep it as it is for now. Then that this is fine. This is a oak. Oh yeah, right, that was one of the downsides, wasn't it? Uh, shit, 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 shit. Um, I'd love for these numbers to be uneven. It allows me to specify a nice route in the middle, but I'll deal with it some other time. Uh, for now, we'll just keep expanding, like it ain't nobody's business. Let's uh, slap in one of those lovely residential walls. Right over there. Now, assuming that I also can uh, slap down some houses over here, which I would love to do. And that this is going to be an avenue. Um, yeah, that's going to be fine. Don't worry about it. I know what I'm doing. I hope. This is kind of how it would look like. Uh, so the gate is open to market employees. Same over here. Gate is open to market employees. We slap down a market. Where's my market at? Right here. And that should take care of that. Let's just uh, continue this wall a bit further. Perfect. See, that is something that I did remember. I think that is where I will draw the line though. That's basically everything I know about this game. And let's make sure we achieve a very good Feng Shui. Yup. Very good Feng Shui. Hmm. Um, ha ha, ha ha ha, ah shit, alright sure, we'll, we'll slip something down over here, uh, we'll have a herbless stall right up there. Uh, oh this is awful, oh well, whatever, nobody cares about the watchtower anyways, nobody will notice. Yeah, the watchtower likes rocks. Either I thought it was either rocks or the uh, deserted area. Uh, desert area, but it's definitely rocks. Uh, which means I could have benefited from pushing this a little bit to the right. I have, have a mind to do so, but let's not make too many tweaks right now. Uh, we are very poor. Poor broken people. In a poor broken world. That's how I feel most of the time anyways. Um, yeah, so we can actually set up some farms. Where do I start? Let's see. Uh, what was the water? Okay, that's really great. I'd like to make a turn to the left. Swing all the way around. Then we slap down a, um... Okay, that's a bit rough. That's a bit rough. Nothing to worry about. Also, I realized I made a stupid mistake. I can fix that. Shouldn't be an issue. I'm, I'm very afraid that me building the city is going to cost me my entire budget before it's even operational. Ah, uh, it's okay. I, I don't even know if this works or not. We'll see. We'll see. Like ideally, I guess I had pushed. Uh, I could have pushed the mill one down, but yeah, whatever. This works. This works. Okay, that works. 
we'll set up uh, a few hunter huts. Then we can start hunting at least. Uh, I think two should suffice. Alright, here we go. People are flowing towards the city. It's gonna be great. Let's make sure that we actually build a inspector's hut as well. Okay. Alright, so my people are uh, finally arriving into the city, which is quite nice. Herbalist on the go, inspectors are waddling about. And soon we'll actually have uh, peasants being hunted. Uh, Fazans being hunted, not peasants. <laughs> That'll be quite unfortunate. And evolution is happening already, excellent. Hey, Soviet. Hope life is treating you well. Land food. Yeah, I was kind of afraid that that might already be the next step. Okay. We should be fine. So, we'll probably dedicate the area down here um, to... There we go. Uh, to farms. It will be nice close to the mill as well. By the way, I'm really hating this gate. I really hate what I did there. really hate it. It's awful. Okay, um, blend food is next. Let's actually check out the empire map real quick. Uh, we can see your capital bow. No wait, that's us. We can see his shot. Wait, who are we? We're Bo. We're Bo. We can see his shung. Which is a shame. Um, the shung greets the world while I speak about the devil. That was, uh, I guess, quite fortunate. So if I give them a little gift, you know, I, I throw something their way. It will eventually be ceramic. Uh, we can establish trade. Oh, right. Um, unrest, unrest. We gotta deal with the unrest. Can I even deal with the unrest? The answer is yes. Alright, so we are finally producing some food. Blend food. Okay, I want to set up my first farm uh, in hindsight. Hold it right over there. I really like the farms in this game. Uh, employees need it. Yeah, that's fine. Don't worry about it. Actually, feels quite enjoyable. Oh, I should have done it half. Lack of housing hinders immigration. That's okay. I'm aware of that. That's fine. Wait, there's more pheasants. Oh, boy. There's some over here as well. And it seems like there's some of them down here, too. Okay, well, that's fine. Um, I guess I could use a third hunter's hut. Maybe. We'll be fine. Okay, we're supplying food. What else do they want? Ancestral shrine. Let's give them an ancestral shrine. Alright, let's see how many people are mad at me already. Ah, yes. It's time to set up some pottery. Yeah, they're molding already. When won't they be, right? When won't they be? It's a shame because this goes through right through my uh, fertile lands. I really regret it because what I should have done is I should have pushed this road one higher. Or I should have pushed the farmhouse one lower. I can still rectify it, but it will be expensive. 
When I say expensive, of course we're talking about penny work, but still, expensive. Well, all better get it done now than uh, never, I suppose. <laughs> uh, my bad luck just doesn't stop, does it? Okay. Uh, we'll go with three kilns, and I will set up a warehouse that accepts ceramics. There we go. Uh, don't accept anything else. And yeah, I could have used that little uh, X button down there. I would have done the trick. We'll push the roadblock one up. And then I need a inspector tower. And I think we're about to go broke already. This is starting to become quite unfortunate for me. Look at that. Down to 900. I thought I was building cheap as well. I guess I could have made do with making less pottery. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. What else do you guys need? Plain food. Okay. Yeah. Um. I can. I can try to uh, provide the minimum quality of plain food. That shouldn't be an issue. I don't like how far away the ceramic shops are. But that's a choice that I made. I wonder if I could have made this guy walk all the way around and then all the way down here. I think that's just a bit too far. He probably would have made it down here. Just on the full circle. Alright. I really thought I had a cheap city design going. Son of a gun. Alright, let's get some pottery. Actually, you know what? Yeah, let's get some pottery. <laughs> okay, we have some pottery. Let's send it to Hesheng. Oh, um... Yeah, let's send some game meat. Yeah, the ancestors are gonna chew my face off. That's basically given at this point. All I can hope for. Um, oh god, how badly are we doing on the employee front? That's pretty bad. Looks like we don't seem to be able to achieve um, decent enough food. I think I should have gone smaller on the, um, the clay. Before an emissary arrives, um, permit him. Oh, a gift of cash. I'll take it. Thank you, buddy. That's just what I needed. Yeah, I definitely overexpended. I shown demands ah uh, ceramics. They know I have ceramics. The second they knew, they're like, "All right, let's do this." But here, sure, have the ceramics you wanted. I'm I'm a very nice guy like that. Uh, so they need ceramics, and that's exactly the, the trade route I wanted to establish. So let's go and ask them whether or not they want to trade. Other than that, um, I guess we can expect or uh, expand our workshop capacity a, a little bit further somewhere down the line. For now, let's keep it as is. I don't want to build too many houses out of place. Alright, so we're going to be doing a little experiment here. Uh, starting off with the well. I'm going to be moving the well. There we go. Well, I say let's do a little experiment, but I don't think I'm in a situation yet where I can just trash money towards an experiment. Insufficient quality. All right, all right, let's go with plant food. All right, trade with uh, our favorite city has opened up. That clay pit just about uh, wasn't reached. That's a shame. 
That's definitely a shame. Um, that's okay. That's okay. That's alright. Now we have a nice training station opening up uh, near us soon, TM. Yeah, let's delete the watchtower. There we go. Watchtower has been deleted. And let's rebuild it down here. Or the inspector tower, my bad. I'm kind of curious whether or not we can easily make it all the way over here. Um, but that's not necessary. All I gotta do is switch those roadblocks around. Um... And just hope that we can do a full circle. And I'd like a trade post right over here, which we're gonna be using to, I guess, buy millet. No, no, no. First, we're gonna sell the ceramics. Now we're financially stable. Yeah, so this inspector actually walks a full circle. That's perfect. No festival this year. Lack of uh, housing hinders migration. Yeah. Oh shit. Another one broke. Damn. See, I already regret my choices. Let's push that one deeper. And then we have a very nice area where we actually are fetching clay from. Those two. Uh, so then the question kind of becomes like, well, if we're fetching clay from this area, but we're processing it all the way up top here, won't it be better to move the clay kiln pottery things all the way down here as well? Like, I'm trying to avoid using as much of this suitable farmland as possible. But since we're kind of already committed to this coastline, should I just not expand southward? Like, this right here is a perfect place to at least put four kilns. And I guess I can double down on it. But yeah, that is, that is the next step. Uh, we're gonna have to expand. We're definitely gonna have to expand. Okay. All right. All right, but also I need more workers, which means I gotta build more houses. I've been trying to avoid it as much as possible. Uh, there was one more thing that I wanted to run real quick, which was what if we were to expand this with one set of houses, one extra set of houses. I'm pretty sure that's gonna be pretty destructive in hindsight, but we'll see. Just something I've been a bit curious about. What the? What? <laughs> I, I'm sorry, that's, that's not supposed to be open. It's not supposed to be open for you, sir. Ah, shit. The men's more ceramic. Now, that is something that I'm not going to be able to comply with if I'm not careful. Um... And that works uh, just the way I'd like it to work. Okay, let's see if the inspector can actually uh, attack both buildings, that would be nice. Yep, that is 200% on me. I'm gonna say, um, it's fine, it's fine to make the city a bit bigger. That shouldn't be an issue for me. Uh, but we'll do that next time. For now, let's make sure that these houses don't burn down. Oh dear lord. Oh boy. 
Yeah, so about those houses not burning down, huh? Might as well expand in that case. I mean, I mean, if if shit hit the fan already, what's what's the point of waiting, right? <laughs> what's the point of? Oh shit! Okay, okay, okay. This is not going the way I wanted to go. This is awful. Well, guys, uh, there you have it. Everything is falling apart. Any more things that? Okay, yep. Yep, it's it's all falling apart now. Uh, this is because my inspectors are going around uh, putting out fires that I created. Uh, I'm on the roll. I'm on the bloody damn roll. Yeah, this doesn't work. No, the only thing that I have to fear at the moment is bankruptcy. Uh, the way that this is going, um, it's becoming a, <laughs> it's becoming a real possibility. I mean, imagine going, oh dear lord, okay, yeah, we're already going bankrupt. Uh, do you still want me to fulfill your request, Ha Shang? Yeah. Yeah, you do. Oh, I need to sell. Oh, come on, come on, son of a! I'm having a really bad day today. I'm having a really bad day today. How did I not notice the roadblock? So this is what's going to happen. Uh, 500 more things are going to explode before everything stabilizes. There you go. A drought, that is nice. Uh, it means that I'm gonna starve to death. Any day now we'll get those workers. Any day. Oh, they're actually giving me some cash. The day's been saved. For now. I'm gonna up my game a bit, quite literally. Uh, we're gonna be getting some more hunter tents. Right, the influx of people will be quite uh, well desired though. Population milestone of 500, we're getting there. Um. But are we there yet? No festival this year, that's unfortunate. <laughs> hey, this remix already. Unbelievable. Yeah, so the best we can do is just uh, double down. Oh, by the way, bo uh, our friend over here, Bompo. Um, there's no way I can reach out to them. That's unfortunate. I probably also want to start producing hemp, but then I'm getting way ahead of myself. And this road looks really weird. Okay, so this is what I'm thinking, right? Uh, we're gonna set up a little warehouse right down here in the corner. This warehouse is going to be accepting clay. And I'm gonna build a few more clay pits. Wait, that actually is pretty pointless, isn't it? Why would I care about this? I guess it's fine. Oh my god, come on, not more pottery. You're the worst. Alright, so our pottery request should be ready now. 
Go in storage. What do you? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, it's not counting my uh, trade hub. Gotcha. Alright, let's send it. I'm a bit worried. I'm definitely a bit worried. I feel like I can do better. Way better. Ah, the ceramics are not coming through. Uh, appeal increase. Yeah, so the next step will be playing food, and here's kind of like the issue with that. We need workers, we need lots and lots of workers, and I just... Uh, I don't seem to be able to obtain them. And I'm not producing enough ceramics to appease the gods either. But I'm actually really surprised how painful this is being. I wish I could double stack uh, those people, but as you can see, we're suffering quite quite badly. Well, you know what to say if you're suffering quite badly. I guess you should be building more houses. I was just really amazed to see that the amount of workers didn't go up or down after I expanded. Okay, okay, okay. This is getting out of control, guys. Come on. Stop hogging all the pottery, please. Whoever is yelling, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I really should stop doing that right now. Losing my mind. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna finally appease to one of our ancestors. Um, it's probably gonna be Nuwa. With a nice offering of ceramics. So I think one of the main issues is our farmhouse is not producing enough millets to provide us with um, appeasing food. And as a result some of these guys are just not evolving. Well, actually, they also need hemp. So really, um, shoot. I guess it's about time we uh, start building some more farms, I guess. And let's start with the hemp farm. That shouldn't be an issue. And let's see if I can also still slap in another farmhouse here in the back. Right over here, perfect. Uh, this farmhouse should allow me to make a nice 3x3 uh, millet field or 9x9 millet field. Yeah, so this is kind of what I meant with my entire pottery deal. Um, there's not a lot of place to build kilns over here. I probably should have pushed you a bit further back there, uh, hemp guy. Question is, can they really work this many fields? I think, like, I once upon a time established that having, like, a full complementary crew of people work on the fields like this is just not enough. Oh, god, hold on. That is actually pretty damn expensive, but hey, it will help me out in the long run. Let's uh, appeal to our ancestors yet again with some delicious game meat. Oh yeah, they feel neglected now. Excellent. You're more popular than dim sum. That's quite nice. Quite nice of you to say. Oh, and apparently they call me the greatest ruler in history. Also accept um, some clay. Uh, some hemp. And we should be good to go. So can I perhaps hit up... Nope, can't hit up Bumpo. That's alright.
Yeah, I don't know. I feel like I might need more kilns, but trade is uh, flown quite nicely. It's because I want to use ceramics to uh, piece to the gods. Uh, we still have unemployment issues and I probably very likely would need to actually set up a shop to distribute the hemp. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. Now we're evolving. Excellent. And they need access to a uh, musician school. Ah, spacious dwelling. Right, we're getting somewhere. Sweet. Okay, um, let's finish that wall a bit further. Though I don't think I have anything to worry about. Up to the peel. I think we basically got this mission in the back. That we do. Alright, it was quite bumpy at the start, but uh, both thrives. thrives. As town architect and administrator, it is a job well done. So well done, in fact, that even King Tang has heard of your management skills. Now it seems he has need of your valuable service no. elsewhere. No, 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 I, I, I built this city to last. What do you mean, elsewhere? Ah, most esteemed administrator, you have been brought to this location, the banks of the Wei River, so that you might establish the town of Baoji. The local waters will provide fish to supplement the wheat crop. However, it is the rocks that hold the most value, as their deposits of copper can be fashioned into bronze and the bronze into elaborate ceremonial vessel dearly needed at our capital of Xiang. Because of this, expect the king to make annual requests for bronze work. To help alleviate the costs of these industries, taxes should be levied upon the populace. Locate an appropriate site for an administrative city and hire some tax collectors. But look also beyond the capital, for there is profit aplenty to be had. You can barter off excess quantities of hemp and wheat and jade can be imported and then fashioned into beautiful carvings by skilled craftsmen. Alright, time to give rise to capitalism. Ooh, this is a very nice spot. Yeah, we're gonna be fishing and... Ooh, shoot, these riverbanks are awful. There we go, that's, that's a lot better. We're gonna be fishing, we're gonna be uh, producing wheat. Farmhouse. So let's set up what we uh, want to build, right? By the way, where's the bronze at? The bronze is right there. Okay. Okay, I don't want to overdo this. I'm just trying to experiment with different type of setups. That is um, what I think we'll be trying out here at the moment. I feel like this block is uh, rather too large, but we're about to find out. One thing that I'm guilty of is what I should have done before I started streaming is I should have looked at the walker distances because understanding the walker distances and being able to pull that off is such a significant boon if you're able to pull that off. Also, I think the warehouse should be down here, or the marketplace should be down here. Because this is where our fish is going to be, and most likely also our pottery. Let's go with brown walls. Ooh, well hello there, fancy kid. Set up a little marketplace right over here.
Okay, we have ample cash to spend. I'm very happy with that. Because that means that I can actually start laying down the foundations of uh, this one-off city, obviously. Because next we're going to be moved to some other arcane location. Right, fishing quays. Let's not overdo it too aggressively. And of course all of this should be supported by a... Gate here in the back. Excellent, perfect. Uh, I don't know what the distance is of a inspector. I'm going to assume it's one tile. So if he's standing over here, we might also uh, prevent this frame from collapsing. But we'll see. But yeah, so this should actually be taking care of our food needs for the time being. Go. We'll have some fish and we'll have some wheat eventually in a bit. Uh, for now, we don't have access to avenues, which I guess I'm kind of okay with. Kind of wish that we did, but oh well, can't have everything, right? Get some water, get a herbalist hut. Probably need to get a watchtower as well. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Ancestral Shrine, that's one of the other things we're going to be needing. Go, fill out the outer circle, that should keep them uh, appeased. Don't need the uh, music school yet. And I think that's a pretty good, uh, it's a pretty good start. My opinion. Perfect. Your city needs more workers. No shit. Well, where are they? Oh, there they are. Welcome, my workers. Let's get to work. There's money to be made. Also, if we quickly go to the map. Um, that's our city. That's a Bompo. A Xiong. And then we have us. The Wee River. No, wait, by Joe. <laughs> we're, we're at the Wee River. Yes, I'm, I'm completely saying it incorrectly, but let's just roll with it. That's how they came up for the name of the Wee. Must be. And I am totally not mispronouncing it or anything. Uh. All right, population milestone of one zero zero. One zero zero. Uh, we're growing quite nicely. So how many jobs are we currently missing? Uh, thirty-seven. We'll get there. Uh, blend food is our next uh, objective, so let's actually double down on this like almost instantaneously and get a farmhouse up and running. So farmhouses are not too difficult to set up, uh, so I'm not too concerned about that. Let's uh, extend this wall just a bit further. And then we'll clear out the entire, well not the entire riverbank, that would be uh, pretty insane. Let's do it on a case by case uh, basis. Ah, bollocks. Okay, well I screwed that one up. That's fun. So ideally, I'd also want to use these trees to... Um, to be able to uh, produce some raw material for wood. Must be built on cleared land. Ah, there we go. That takes care of that. 
Yeah, ideally having a hemp farm all the way over here would be quite nice. Let's actually try and pull that off. But then on the other hand, I also have this nice little open area, which I might as well use, right? Alright, so that takes care of all of that. This is gonna create um, actually quite some issues now that I think about it. That's nice. I've I've done a fantastic job with that. Great. Oh shoot. So yeah, um, I just kind of like crushed this entire river line uh, with building possibilities. I should have built this somewhere else. Um, yeah, so how would I continue from this? Obviously, the next thing we are gonna need is probably to establish some, um, some way of trading, right? Yeah, I'm not gonna give them a thousand cash, screw that. Yeah, I really regret this. Um... I don't want to build in poor cropland areas, but uh, I think I might need to. I'll try to come up with something clever. We'll see. When I say something clever, what I'm actually saying is uh, it's probably going to be terrible. Right. I'd love to build me some more fishing quays. And this is where it starts to become incredibly awkward. Um, okay, um, I'll come up with something. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll just fix it. We'll fix it. Don't worry. We'll fix it post-process. That is obviously the only way to move forward. Let's for now just expand our fishing industry, make sure that people flock to our city and um, expand where necessary. But I think I'm gonna need to move the entire hemp farm. It's too much in the way. Also, can I make a clay pit? A yes, I can make it close. Nice, very nice. That should allow me to make the ceramics I need. Yeah, I should be fixing it right now. I don't need this just yet. Why am I using gates? Why the hell am I using gates? There's no point for me to use gates. It would be nice if I could dedicate this area to uh, kiln generation. Uh, sorry, pottery generation. Building kilns. Also, can you actually make a full circle there, my friend? Uh, it looks like it. Yeah, 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 he's fine. So we have a little bit of unemployment. Let's uh, let's get started on the kilns. Some sweet, sweet pottery. I know that pottery isn't that high on your list uh, of things that you could be making. We should be thinking about bronze as well and raising taxes. Let's start with the kilns. Then we'll start about bronze, uh, start thinking about bronze, and then we'll think about whatever else we need to do. Anyways, um, industry. Oh 
God, I hate this. I hate this so much. <laughs> ah, shit. Alright, that's better. Um, even know how to properly, uh, properly make roads anymore. How awful. Uh, this thing is gonna be accepting. Pa 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 pa. Amp, 16 of it. And ceramics, which is also gonna be 16. Ideally, I would pull the road just like that. Keep it like this. Okay, and then I need... where is it? Two clay pits. And let's get one more kill. So this is going to cause uh, employees to be needed. Yep, there we go. Uh, but the advantage of all of this is A. Um, I now have a person, a walker. We could potentially reach all the way over here. He's probably going to go for a full circle. Yep. So that should touch our marketplace, the warehouse and the mill itself. I just don't know if the time in between it is too long. I think we're fine. Um... Oh god, and I was afraid of these things. Um, and there's the bronze where they demand. I knew it was going to happen sooner than later. Uh, let's start thinking about bronze as well real quick. Hmm. I don't even have trade. That's the worst part of all. I'll give them some fish. That's why I can't give them cash. Alright, I'm gonna have to disappoint them with the bronzeware, which is not gonna be great. Um... Yeah. Then I could establish trade. I wonder if I can actually push for taxes. If I can push for taxes and we can get taxes, that would be fantastic, but you never know. Hmm. Man, the administrative city is kind of expensive, so I shouldn't mess about with it. Right, and now we have a tax office. Alright, so the tax office is actually going to be needing... Um, what is it called? Wood? There you go. So that's going to be an interesting challenge. Plain food, we're about to receive plain food. Um, yeah, um, <laughs> um, <laughs> ah, shit. Okay, a logging shed. Those things are hella expensive, by the way. Holy crap, 105 bucks. You can't make that up.
Okay. So about that bronzeware, right? Yeah, 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 I know, I know, I know. I'm getting you the bronze, buddy. I'm getting you the bronze. Calm down. So, if I get bronze... Bronze smelters. Can I help bronze wear makers? That's how. Okay. Uh, we're gonna start with one bronze smelter. Then we're gonna get two bronze makers in the warehouse. This should be the most basics of setups, and oh boy, um, all I can hope for myself at the moment is A, we're gonna get more workers, which I could get if I were to build uh, common housing. So let's get the done ASAP. Which is of course going to bankrupt us, but that's besides the point. Let's go to religion and make sure that these guys are actually going to be happy with me. Yeah, I don't think I can make anybody happy at the moment. So currently I'm just relying on my taxes to pull through. <laughs> Um, that's what those guys are for. Alright, time to collect taxes, guys. Let's go. So there's 500 cash in taxes that I can collect, but our payroll is way more expensive than that. Alright, alright, alright. Estimated cash of 600. Projected payroll is way more than that. Okay, shit. Oh boy. I'm worried. I'm highly worried at the moment. I'm not gonna lie. Um... Oh, Bo, you like me, right? Ashing, maybe you like me? Anybody? <laughs> Please, I beg of you. I'd love to open trade with the city, um, but the problem is, I can only send them bronzeware. And, well, I guess, I guess we can try. We'll try to sell, uh, sell them some bronzeware. But people might actually get very angry at me because taxes are incredibly high. The nomad camps discovered. More bronzeware. Permit. <gasps> Ashang, thank you. You're a lifesaver. Okay, well, uh, we had a tiny influx of cash. That influx is now coming to an end. <laughs> Ufu. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so we have a total estimation collection of 1200, whereas the tax roll is way lower. So we are effectively making a profit when it comes down to the taxes uh, side of things. Uh, we are actually quite severely overproducing fish, which is quite nice and bad at the same time, I suppose. Let's make sure that I build a warehouse that accepts fish. That way we can always offer it to the gods. Great agreement rejected? Oh, that is awful. Bompo thinks less of you. I'm hurt. So yeah, we can at least pay homage using fish quite aggressively. And we can actually appease to the uh, gods quite greatly. Or the heroes. And the nomad camps greets the worlds. Yeah, that's not something I like. You guys can stay there. That's devolution. Bland food. Mm. 
I'm probably gonna need a second wheat farm at least. Okay, this works for now. Um, let's see. Oh, you guys need clay? Alright, I, I wasn't aware you guys needed clay. I'm so terribly sorry. What the hell just happened? Guys, how did this happen? You can't let that happen. Okay, so this is roughly about too large in that case. Uh, good to know. And sure, it might just be a little hiccup, but it's just roughly too erratic. Look at that. I think it might also have to do with wooden pots or more fire. Oh lord. Popularity has dwindled to low levels. Uh oh. I don't feel very comfortable about this, so I'm gonna put down another inspector hut. Just a bit too much. Anyways, uh, this place also needs clay, so let's give them a clay pit real quick. Hell, let's give them two. Uh, but yeah, so the amount of workers that we need just doesn't go down. Part of it is my fault, apparently. Oops. And it's not like I'm building very efficiently, right? Permit? Oh, gift of jade from the nomads camp. Well, I mean, if you insist, why not? I do appreciate a good gift of um, a jade. <sighs> yeah, I have a really bad feeling about this. I have a really bad feeling about this. Okay, uh, let's go to religion. Let's make sure that these guys are very happy. There you go, he's joyful. And let's do the same for our other friend over here. New Wa. Exalted. Alright, so that takes care of them for the time being. We are creating bronzeware. Uh, my trade of the offer has been rejected though, so we gotta come up with a different plan for that. Because otherwise uh, I will most likely go bankrupt. Oh yeah, definitely. There, I'll give them some fish. Then Nuwa has arrived. What's well, nice? <laughs> we finally uh, are ready to dispatch the bronze. That's great. All right, so Bumpo has been grateful for the fish, and now we could establish a trade route with them. And turns out that I do not want to trade with these guys. They need fish. Well, actually, we can give them fish. And carve G8. Hmm. That would be quite beneficial. They need ceramics. Um, I don't think they like me too much. Do could open trade. But yeah, it's fish and ceramics. Those are the key to victory at the moment. Shang thinks less of you. Uh oh. Oh no. Don't reject. God dang it. Just can't get on the right side, can I? Alright, we'll send him a nice leverage gift of ceramics. There you go. Now he must want to trade with me, right? Yeah, I'm aware of the debt anniversary. very much aware of it. And 
people are immigrating. Damn it. Alright, alright. I've done this way too late. I should have been earlier with it. Um, here you go. Shit. Uh, but I should have been earlier with it. I should have basically reached out and made a save. Before I started messing around with stuff like, uh, you know... Yep. Yep. I deserve that. 200% deserve that. But the ancestors are so happy with you. With us. Uh, if only I was able to export my bronze bar, we would have been in a very good spot. If only Hanshang is willing to help me. That's all I can ask for. Alright, let's try it one more time. Open trade with the city. But yeah, the depth is uh, it's what's gonna cripple me here. Doesn't matter what happens. Like, even if I were to build this trade station, um, I don't think we'll be able to sell enough um, anything to uh, break even. But who knows? Who knows? Let's stay positive. Um, depth anniversary. There we go, we're out of depth. Uh, but I think that was just too late as well. Come on, guys. Come on, immigrate back to my city. <laughs> Please, immigrate back. Any day now. Man, I need, I need to step up my game when it comes to generating money. I think I should have taken those steps like right off the bat. And I didn't, and that is causing me a lot of harm at the moment. I focused too much on taxes. I should have focused on export. If I had focused on export instead of taxes, we probably would have been doing a lot better right now. But yeah, uh, people are flowing back into the city. Um, the amount of workers seems to be rapidly decreasing that we need. So that's quite beneficial. And now we just have to play the waiting game and uh, start growing out these houses somehow. While simultaneously making sure the ancestors don't want to murder my face off. Talking about you, Nabu. Talking about you. Can't believe that I'm destroying my own city like this again. That is so unfortunate. High taxation is preventing immigration. What you talk about? It's normal. I, I fixed it. Okay, so now that we actually have fully stabilized and recovered, which is quite excellent, um, I want to start sending out a few more gifts to people. But let's start with a nice medium tray of fish. And I probably got to try, figure, uh, try to figure out how I can make these houses expand any further. I'm considering taking two of these down, two of the fishmongeries. And other than that, I guess I got to build a few more houses. But I'm starting to reach uh, my max capacity, and that kind of scares me. Unless, of course, I were to import millet. That might just be my golden ticket out of here. If we import millet, I'd be easily able to obtain bland food. Uh, plain, f uh, plain food, there you go. Alright, trade with Bo has opened up, which is quite nice. Let's keep this at 16. Let's keep this at 16 as well. And now that trade with Bo has opened up... Um, Bo wanted bronzeware, right? Yes, they want the bronzeware. Uh, since trade with them now has opened up, I can actually uh, set up a little trade shop up here. 
which specialize in selling bronzeware. And with that, our financial situation is fully stabilized. Yeah, I knew that was worth quite a bit. What else do you guys want? Hemp. Okay. I'm starting to um, lean towards importing hemp instead of growing it myself, but... Let's import it. Mm. Let's grow it ourselves. It shouldn't be too difficult, right? Just a simple case of a hemp farmhouse. Just a simple case of a hemp farmhouse. Okay, so that takes care of the hemp. And then the hemp should be stored somewhere else in my opinion. Um, outside the city. Right over here. And that also needs an inspector post. Are you immigrating? You better not be immigrating. I've been evicted by that greedy pig of our landlord. I hope our dragon eats him. Wow, that's that's really cruel. That's really rude, man. All right, and that fixes the appeal issue. Now, last but not least, let's get a hemp shop, and I guess we can also start getting a ceramic shop. Alright, I can stop importing millet for quite a bit. We have so much of it. Alright. And now we'll be growing our own hemp as well. I'm kind of leaning towards importing it because of the job issues, but I'm sure it's fine. Now I'm also considering if I should take down the wheat farm altogether. One thing I might actually want to do is uh, double down on my bronze area. Yeah, let's get rid of the wheat. I'll just deal with the fallout, that's not going to be an issue. Let's grow ourselves a, a bit of additional hemp. Here we have it. See, things are coming together. Ah, finally! There we go, that's what I'm talking about. Why are you devolving? Ancestral Shrine. Ah, this works. Elegant Dwelling, even. Oh, that's nice. Oh, uh, what was that message about? Population milestone, a thousand people. Um... <laughs> so are we even generating a profit? Yes, so all we gotta do now is get two trading partners and we are good to go. Um, send them some fish. Uh, let's send these guys some ceramics. And we can go home. Wait, we are home. don't have any of that, do I? How about I give you a nice uh, chunk of cash? And Bapo, how about the open trade? Yeah, I'm kind of leaning towards just importing the hemp. Trade with bow opens up. That is 3 out of 4. And then all we gotta do now is send one more request and... We will be done. 
See, it's not too bad. At least we can ditch this uh, crapple behind us. I think my main issue is I went too heavy on a lot of these industries. I should have built less fisheries. Your skill at city planning and management is matched equally by your skill at manipulating trade and turning a healthy profit. It is not a small thing to say that our mighty ruler, the Great Tang, is more than pleased with your performance. It seems the recent passing of Tang the Perfect has caused a bit of a construction boom. Throughout the kingdom, cities scrambled to erect shrines and temples to honor his memory. Not one to be outdone. The town of Bo has had architects devise plans for a grand temple. They want you, most noble administrator, to oversee its construction. You must first designate a suitable site for the monument. Loggers will then be needed to fell trees for lumber, and laborers will be available to construct a sturdy foundation of rammed earth. Local farms can now grow cabbage as well as millet. Instead of building new farms, however, consider converting existing millet fields to cabbage. Surplus hemp and ceramics can be sold for profit, but do not forget to give generous offerings to our ancestor heroes, as their blessings are vital. Lastly, it is time the people of this town started paying their allegiance to our king. Adding an administrative city will allow tax offices to be built. Oh, well, here we go. On to the next city. Um... Wait, no, this is our city. We're back. We're back. What a shithole. Can we, can we go back to the other city? I just realized how bad this one actually is. Um, Alright, so... Yeah, a few things uh, to immediately dive into. We're gonna set up a way for us to gain some taxes. That would be quite nice. Um, I did a little bit of experimenting in the other place. And I think this works. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 by 4. And those seem to work out good enough to me. So I don't want to make any modifications there. And last but not least, let's get that administrative uh, setup rolling. Somehow. Hmm, I wonder if there's something specific to just bridges that you can build. Uh oh. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's our uh, great camp. Uh, or Great Temple. <laughs> Great Camp. Appetizing food, you say? Mm. Have an employment, so that's quite nice. Uh, so yeah, I think what we're gonna do, first of all, is set up that administrative uh, city. Collect some taxes. Just don't know where to build it. I think I'll build it here, but it feels a bit awkward. Speak about awkward. I hate its location. It's called awful, but I'll take it. And then I also need a logging shed. And I guess this area would suffice, won't it? And then last but not least, let's... Um... Oh, we can actually tra uh, trade with Bonjo. Interesting. I like how that carried over. I should be gen uh, getting rid of the skill. And we can accept... Put over here. Employees needed. So yeah, half the fields are gonna become cabbage, the other half are gonna become... Or stay millet. Perfect. Hopefully that means we can produce all year round. Okay, that takes care of all of that. I feel like I should have a second hemp. Ooh. I feel like I should have a second hemp farm. A 
Let's do it. Um, let's see. Yeah, I assumed as much. That's okay. Okay, so with all of that set up, let's see if we can slap down a trade station. What can we even trade with uh, by Joe? They're willing to buy ceramic, which is really nice, and they're willing to buy cabbage, and they're willing to sell us a bunch of other stuff, including fish. So this actually might be a good thing. Most definitely might be a good thing. Um, I'll buy the wheat and I'll export the ceramics as well. Which means that I need to start thinking about doubling down on my ceramics. So how about we get rid of this... We <laughs> get rid of this hemp farm. Um, man, hemp farms don't have a very long uh, life expectancy in my place. We rebuild it right over here. This allows me to build a few more kiln buildings. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Your city needs more workers. Always does. Yeah, the worker, uh, the worker craze never ends. What's going on over here, guys? You need more hemp, right? Um, I, I doubled down on the hemp. Why don't you guys just stay put for the time being? Uh, can I quickly get myself an, an influx of hemp? Yes, I can. No, wait, I can't. That's selling. Mm. Ah, shit. Let's reach out to some of our friends. And see if some of them are actually willing to give me hemp. Uh, let's stick with bland food for the time being. No wait, it's plain food, isn't it? You need hemp, bronzeware... Um, yeah, I can't really help you there. You need fish, wheat, and carved G8. Uh, you do produce hemp. You produce ceramics, you also produce ceramics. Okay, so I can't really send him a gift of ceramics without, you know, turning him into a joke. Alright, but people are flocking towards the city, and that actually can be a good sign. Let's hope that will be the case. And with a little bit of luck we can even push this through to appetizing food, but that requires me to buy even more fish. Okay, so how about we get fish, we get cabbage, we get wheat, and we just make sure we only have eight a pop. Uh, let's ignore millet. And let's set up some associated warehouses to store the excess food in. But where would I do that? Well, I guess that is fine. So let's see. I'd like to accept fish and cabbage, 16 a pop. And I need a second warehouse that does it for um game meat. There we go. And fish? Wait, that doesn't make sense. Fish and cabbage, game meat and wheat. Right, it's wheat that I'm missing. There we go. What do you store? You store 16 pieces of wood and that's it. What about you? 
Hemp and ceramics. Okay, that's fine. That's perfectly fine. Uh, we're collecting taxes. We are importing stuff. We're exporting stuff. Everybody's happy. And let's see if we can actually establish some trade with both cities. Or die trying, I suppose. We'll see. And let's keep an eye out on our finances that we don't go bro. What the hell is happening, guys? Come on. Hmm. Let's make sure that we don't go broke, is what I want to say. And trade opens up. Yeah, so I'm actually very curious to return to a 2x2 two two setup instead of a 3x3 three three setup. Uh, for the farms themselves. So currently we have a farm surrounding a 3x3 area and I think they can only cover about roughly a 2x2 two two area. Also let's make sure that our ancestors don't want to murder me. Um, that might be quite nice. That <laughs> might be quite very nice. Um... Ooh, which bonus would you like? Improved production yields, special gifts, or reduced building cost. Let's go with... Improved production yield. No, wait. That will mess me up. Special gift. Fortunate Ori Governor, what a joyful year for you. The gods have deposited many bushels of wheat in your store. Son of a gun. I feel cheated. And they said it was a good thing. It was special. The only thing special about it is how bad it is. It's probably why they called it special, so I won't know how bad it actually is. Also, I'm very tempted to actually get rid of these millets. But, um, uh, not millets, these uh, hunting camps, but let's refrain from doing just so um, prematurely. And that logging shed is actually in a horrible position. Matter of fact, even the export and import uh, place is in a horrible position. Okay, permit. Um, gift of wood. I'll take it. Wait, what? Yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it. Definitely. Alright, I'll be tearing this uh, building down now. So we can uh, at least continue our expansion. Buy fish, buy wheat. And we'll sell our ceramics. And then I also would like to establish a trade route with Bobo. Because I do believe that Bopo over here has the um, has the hemp import export. Oh, that's a two by two. I thought it was three by three. And then we're gonna be doing a little bit of hemp import. Yeah, that's cool. All right. Well, as much fun as this is, let's uh, push this forward. Make sure that nobody is left behind being very angry at me. Which currently seems to be the case. I'm a bit scared. Mm. I'm gonna have to expand upon my um, kiln industry again. I am gonna have to expand upon my kiln industry. And I wish I could streamline this in a very nice and neat way, but I can't. It's just looking horrible at the moment. Actually, there might be something I could do. But if anything, it's more destructive than it does me any good, but I'll take it. Okay, 
right, that takes care of that. Um, we don't need that warehouse anymore, like I said back then, and I'll say it again, it was actually a pretty dumb idea in hindsight. Don't know why I did it, but I did it regardless. Okay, and I'd like to get at least one clay farm. Alright, so this is quite a bit overkill. I'm very much aware of that. I'm a-okay with that. There's nothing wrong with overkill. Overkill just means that you are putting in the effort, right? Let's get a uh, ceramics house. Fire in the city and kilns. And that's right, you can delete them in that case. And I feel like I need to come up with an alternative strategy for this, but sure. For now I'll pop the roadblock and it's gonna spread to my warehouse. I'm very much aware of that. A warehouse of that. Haha. <laughs> oh go oh boy, oh boy, here we go. Guys are not needed anymore. So part of me just wants to reset uh, some of this industry that I have over here. Part of me doesn't want to do that. Uh, let's check out the hazards. No, 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 that doesn't work, that doesn't work at all. Thanks, relics. I wish I could, I wish I could. I have no power here. Let's get rid of those three. Get rid of the road, there we go. And then I'll finish this off by building a few additional kilns. Does that address the hazard issue? Uh, kinda. It kinda does. Alright. Let's go back to our religion because our gods are getting quite angry. And let's give them very nice um, happy offerings. Alright, and let's stop buying ham for the time being. Okay. Neglected, content, neglected, son of a gun. Can't you guys ever be happy? Just gonna make these guys happy. Smash the pots, I wish I could. I'm pretty sure they wish they could. Uh, let's get some game meat. And last but not least, let's... Um, God dang, I have nothing worthwhile giving. That's the worst part of all. By the way, notice how we are slowly but surely uh, heading towards bankruptcy? <laughs> That's terrifying. Um... Let's not think too much about it. Let's look towards what we can actually do. We just built that great temple, right? I am collecting all my taxes. Hmm. Yeah, I think importing hemp might be a bit overkill. I'm exporting... Ceramics, I should be exporting hemp. I really should be exporting hemp. Let's double down on the hemp industry. Anyways, as I pointed out already, um oh, actually look at that. You know, if they're fully operational with 18 people, we're fine. Pick back. That is perfect. That is perfect. All right, which god wants some hemp? Oh, I know who. Shang Nong would love some hemp. Let's give him some. I 
Oh my god, look at us uh, just popping that stack over and over. Acrobat house. I don't think we have access to an acrobat house. That is okay. Content, content, content. Okay, that's what I'll leave it at for now. Oh my god, we have so much stuff laying around. I take it back. Happy. Uh, so yeah, we have a large temple to build. Let's build it. Alright, so this temple is going to be quite great. Um, the question is, where am I going to build it? What will be a very nice, suitable spot? Well, let's just uh, let's just slap it down right here then. Now, cities don't need to be nice; they need to be functional and practical. Ah, uh, who am I kidding? They always need to look nice. Just can't do it. We'll never be able to do it. Okay, so we need 20 carpenters. We can definitely deal with that. We have access to a bunch of um, carpenter people. Imagine not building the most feng shui city. Oh, it's uh, the worst type of timeline. My timeline. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, let's get this done. I don't even know if this stuff can explode, but I don't want to find out. Welcome back, Soviet. Hmm, the real question I have is, where the hell are my walls at? Here they are. Let's go with 10 walls. God, it looks awful. I love it. Okay. All right. So that is rolling around. Well, that is rolling around. We are gonna we're gonna take care of our heroes, starting with um, Nuba. Oh, I'm sure we all know how this timeline ends. <laughs> uh. No, this, this is what gave rise to the ninjas, a bunch of girls who was pretty upset with terrible city design. Thanks sure we rubbed them the wrong way and they decided to revolt against uh, the emperor. Which doesn't make sense because ninjas are more like Japanese and this is China, but let's just roll with it. My timeline, damn it. <laughs> uh, I'm having too much fun. Um, right. Oh no. Oh no! Literally the worst timeline. They connect. That's better. I hate walls that connect to one another. That looked awful. Uh, so yeah, we have a cult with us. Uh, it's Nuwa. Sorry, a... <clears throat> Ancestral hero, not a god, my bad. Just chilling with us. Just chilling. Now we're gonna do is keep a hero in this uh, city for nine months. And we'll do that while we're building uh, cities, uh, while we're building our monument. Alright, we can all enjoy how it's slowly gonna grow. I'm not sure if I've ever talked about this, so. But Joe suffers a famine. Yeah, there's not much I can do about it. Um, one of the things that I loved about Zeus was its marble quarries and how, you know, it was being dug out, dug out. But one of the things that amazed me about this game is how monuments are built. And I think the same goes for Pharaoh. I really love that. I really enjoy seeing it. Um, it's not something that just statically improves over time. You know, oh, now you have one layer on top of it. Now a statue shows up, a second statue shows up. But you can actually see the foundations being filled out. And seen them build it layer by layer. It's really amazing. 
Like, I love that. That's, I think, the thing that I remember the most and the most fondly about this game. <laughs> uh, well, to be fair, okay, it's, it's, I keep saying this, but it's really hard to compare these type of games to Caesar 3. I feel like Caesar 3 had a very serious stake on it. Um, then Zeus kind of went all over the place. Uh, Pharaoh, I don't know. I don't know necessarily about Pharaoh. I feel like that had the same balance as um, Emperor, where you prefer gameplay over realism, aka you have roadblocks and you have gates that will not allow certain people to pass through it. I guess that's fine. I mean, I don't mind it at all. But it does make the, uh, make the game a lot more easier and a lot less planning. Uh, needs more apparel. I just suffers a famine. Yeah, that's how I felt. But that's my take on it. Oh, very high. Um, yeah, we, we can take some employees. I think I built way too many carpenters guilds anyway, so let's get rid of two of them. There we go, look at that. Yes, fill it out with sand. Like, then they come and flatten it, which makes it even better. It's, it's amazing. Just gotta make sure I don't go bankrupt, because oh boy, that cash flow, yee. Those scare me quite a bit. So what is my tax income? No, not what... I don't care about problems either. What's the breakdown? The government breakdown. So last year... Most of it went to wages by the looks of it. Yeah. We're just not exporting enough. That ever so much worries me. Guess I can start exporting some of the hemp. We have lots and lots of hemp laying around. Like, look at this. Zip. Right? Zip. Bajo becomes hostile? Uh oh. They didn't like starving to death. Um. Okay. I, uh. Now I'm a bit worried. I might actually need to buy hemp again. Oh god, this is embarrassing. This is incredibly embarrassing. Ah, shit. So I ended up exporting a bit too aggressively. Um, but you launched an invasion? Wait, what? No. No, 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 you can't do this, my friend. Uh-oh. Are we about to die? Shit, that sounds about uh, appropriate as it can be. Yeah, so um, I, I kind of was supposed to highlight this and be like, Oh, look at how cool it is, and how neat it is, yada, yada, yada. Uh, but I got a bit sidetracked. But yeah, so they're currently building it layer by layer. I mean, look at that. need anti-diplomacy gang well, what am I supposed to do anyways how to them hell no I I'm selling them fish and wheat wait no they're selling me fish and wheat and I'm selling them ceramics oh shit um I request an alliance with the city Why, why are you so angry at me? Have, have, have ceramics. I'm a nice guy. No. No. 
Well, we're about to be invaded. That's fun. Happy New Year, everybody. We're about to die. Baijiu is great for the ceramics. Now, I think the problem here is that Baijiu starved to death and I did not help them, so they got angry at me for not helping them and letting them starve to death. Apparently, they wanted me to run some uh, intervention or some crap. Oh, uh, I'll just surrender and pay tribute. <laughs> uh. Oh! Looks like we won, though. What do you mean, defeat? They all just magically died. That's okay. We'll pay tribute, don't worry about it. Gotta keep building that uh, sweet, sweet temple. Alright, some more stacks of wood. Hundred strings of cash per year. This rival thinks highly of you. He won't entertain any of your requests, but you can always demand the things you want from him. If he feels the military is stronger than his, he'll probably comply. I, yeah. I'll get you back for this, don't you worry about that part, my friend. I'm trying to keep an eye out in the meantime on the rest of my uh, I should uh, try to make sure nothing bad happens. We still have enough hemp, enough ceramics, the gods don't hate me. Ah, uh, yeah, about that. They should have taken more individual responsibility towards the weather and not have their crops fill and then pick themselves up by the bootstraps to avoid famine. And famine, famine, ah! Oh. I mean, to be fair, okay. When we were starving to death, my entire city fell apart. We didn't help ourselves, so why should I help them? If anything, it sounds like a them problem, not a me problem. You know, just as a side note. Where was my help from the city that we were in when Bo, us, didn't help them? <laughs> Coincidence, really. Right, uh, all of them are pleased. Employees needed. Employees needed. Okay, apparently it's employees needed. 15 pounds of uncut jade. What the hell do you what, what? Okay. I'm going to respectfully tell you. Hell no. But I kinda can't, so shit. Okay, that's actually pretty rough. That's a dick move right there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, all right. Um, I know you're paying me tribute and all, but uh, why don't you uh, give me some extra juicy stuff? Yeah, this is expensive. This might actually uh, cause me some issues. Screw those guys. I probably should import it, cut it, and then export it, but we'll see. Appetizing food, why do we not have access to appetizing food? I do not know why we don't have access to appetizing food. Okay, that's ready. Let's uh, tell them to suck it, but also at the same time accept my... Uh, accept my uh, dearest and sincerest apologies. Yeah, it might actually be nice to just cut the jade and then export it to other people. 
Uh, because exporting cut jade uh, will net us a small profit of 140 coins. That is not small. That is by no measure small. Holy crap. Alright, change of plans. We are exactly going to be doing that. Um, getting some jade. But where? Where am I going to build this? Okay, so we're going to set up a little ad hoc uh, station right over here. Um, let's set up... So I'm going to be importing carved jade, uh, regular jade. I don't know the exact ratio on jade um, to product workshop ratios. That sentence stopped making sense uh, five words in, but sure. Uh, we're gonna see how much... Um... Oh. Oh, that's why. Alright. <laughs> I can't even make cut yet. Okay. Well, I'm glad I got way ahead of that. Um, let's keep an eye out on uh, how this is progressing while, the gods, uh, while keeping the gods mildly happy as well. I kind of feel like I'm running on fumes here, just real quick. I am running on fumes. Because I have lots of employees needed, gotcha. I don't think I need a labor camp anymore. I think we're done with those. What am I missing? A slab of clay. Okay. Well... Wait, what? I guess I can build it all the way here because of the... Wait. Is it because of the water levels? Ah, it is because of the water levels. Okay, that's cool. That's really cool. I always thought it had to be adjacent to a river, but it doesn't even need to be adjacent to a river. Huh. That's neat. That is really neat. Um, I guess I never stopped to think about it. There you have it. Okay, there we go. Baggio demands tribute. 15 bronzeware vessels. Okay, you're getting out of hand now, buddy. Now he wants bronzeware. Yeah, bronzeware is not cheap. This is what I get for getting conquered, right? Anyways, I can't comply with the request anyways because we're buying capacities. 12, 12 a month. And he wants it at the end of the month. Fifteen bronze worth vessels per month. I can't believe it. Oops, I'm accidentally gonna forget to pay tribute this year. Nothing personal. Just the way that life works. It sucks. For him at least, not for me. Um let's see if we can offer some more ceramics. I'm gonna I'm gonna skill my um offers down quite a bit. I think that is that. Oh no, not yet. We still gotta make the outer exterior. The great temple has been completed and it will delight Nupa, the creator goddess, just as it delights the people. Well, there you have it, guys. She is exalted by it. Just as we're having massive devolution. Because I lack hemp. Unbelievable.
What are we missing? Bollocks. And there we are. We're done. Big win. Big win. I gotta stop exporting it. Obviously, I cannot deal with it. Anyways, big win. Come on. You cannot win while you are a vessel? Wait. That, that literally means we cannot win. <laughs> that literally means you cannot win. <laughs> um fun So um here we are back again familiar places familiar faces like I've done all of this before Yet it all seems so different Let's keep our uh, heroes happy So I'm still gonna get invaded in that case Right? Yeah Ah, shit Okay, let's see if I can actually uh, just massively make him super duper mega happy, right? Send him all the good stuff. Even willing to give you a large chunk of cash. Please tell me, please tell me this will cancel it out. Please tell me we can cancel this. Um No, 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 not yet. Not yet. I have one more plan. You admire me. <laughs> He's admiring me, please. Please, buddy. Can only try. Can only try. In one month, yeah, we're never gonna make that, okay. Instant defeat. Um, There's one more thing I wanna try. Come on, we can do this. This shouldn't be too bad. So, I send him a large gift of ceramics. I send him a large gift of hemp. I send him a large gift of cash. There we go. We're all quite familiar with this. Wait for those guys to leave. Right, they left. And then I tell them, or ask them, please, do you want an alliance with me? Please don't attack me. I'm innocent. I'm, I'm a victim in all of this. You have to understand. <laughs> please, no bully. Alright, so tell me he's admiring me. He is admiring me. He's an ally. 
Allies don't attack each other. Think about the warmonger penalty. <laughs> they don't. <laughs> Heck of you. <laughs> this is all I can think of. This is awful. Request defensive aid. Please, I'm under attack. <laughs> I need your help. Yes! Oh, it worked. Big win. <laughs> okay, alright, we're back on track, people. We're back on track. We did it. We done did it. Ah. <sighs> oh, I thought all hope was lost. Not quite there yet. Oh, uh, decline. I'm sure he didn't appreciate that, but um, yeah, that worked. In the very end, that did end up working, so I'm quite happy with that. That's how I should have done it, allying him and hoping he calls off the invasion, and that's exactly what happened. <coughs> Let's also make sure that nobody wants to murder us. I think it's also um, roughly about time that we uh, expand our kiln industry one more time. Somehow. Um. No, I'm sure our kiln industry is doing just mighty fine, right? Cancel an invasion like that. Yeah, uh, so if they turn your ally, basically they call off the invasion because you are now an ally with them. I was actually afraid that he might actually simple, uh, simply tell me, like, I don't like your face, we're not gonna have an alliance, uh, which would have ruined the entire idea. My final solution would have been. To do this to somebody else, establish an alliance with them in, in, at the same time, and then request military aid. And then hope that his military aid arrives before the enemy attacks me. And then we'd still have a fighting chance. That would have been the way to do it. Oh, I, mm -hmm. I did mention that I have no idea how to fix this, but I have a general good idea all of a sudden. Um, I'm gonna hurt this uh, field one more time. This really sucks what I'm doing, but uh, it's fine, I suppose. Get one more hunter's tent. There we have it. Get rid of that warehouse. I think it was fish and cabbage. No, it was the other one. It was game meat and wheat. And then I build a few more kilns. And this might actually be pushing it way too much. So we're gonna be building a additional inspector hut. I mean, he can reach all the way down there, I just don't think he can rotate quickly enough. And it also should reduce employment quite a bit. Uh, that being said, we need some slabs of clay, which is why I want to build a warehouse that accepted clay.
And I think that's some massive devolution that's happening. Why? Appetizing food is lacking. Why? We just don't have enough pieces of it. Interesting. Wait, who, who's accepting millet? Nobody's accepting millet. That is problematic. How about we also accept millet over here? So we accept 8 wheat, 8 game meat, and 60 millet. Uh, she'll take care of that issue. I actually never realized that I never set this thing up to accept millet despite the fact that we're actively producing millet. That was pretty dumb. I think it's just bad luck. No, I think the problem was there wasn't... So I think if they pick up food, they need four pieces of or 400 of each type of food in order to turn it into, uh, for example, appetizing food. So I think there wasn't enough wheat and meat, so it turned out to be just uh, plain food. But I think we got it covered now. Just me fairy crafting though. Speak about fairy crafting. Um. I have one more clay pit. I need to be overproducing clay for a bit. Let's make sure that the gods don't want to chew my face off. Anyways, now we can actually bring this mission home quite easily, so let's do that. Also, I could have used Hangdu or Wangdi. Uh, as a military, because I do believe that he's a military guy, isn't he? After my studies with the nope. Great Healer, she bought I thought he was a military guy. I guess I'm confusing him with somebody else. Oh god, he's still talking. Yeah, he's the medic. He's the one that provides. Uh, acupu uh, acupuncture. Yada yada yeah. Can't pronounce it to save my life. Okay, this is actually becoming quite problematic quite quickly. Um, I don't seem to be able to overproduce uh, clay. I should not touch ceramics for quite a while. Let's go with him. The Yellow Emperor or something like that. Huh. I'm hoping by not having my ceramics move that quickly, we can actually create a backlog of clay and gacha. We just did it. Excellent. There are strings of unrest in the city. Why? Can be the unemployment. Why are you crumbling about... Okay, well, whatever. Let's see what their problems are. If they have any. Nope. Well, screw those guys. Anyways, this time we are not a vessel. So, yay for that. We're trying to build the temple, which is progressing quite nicely. And with enough luck, we will be done in no time. This is taking up a lot more time than I expected. Alright, so all we need is a bunch of carpenter guys, and we are done. Like, right the hell now. Hell yes. That's right. Hit the temple. Smash is good. Beat it into submission. And it's been finished. The Great Temple completed. With that, we qualify... Um, we qualify for victory. Any day now. You have done well. A 
beautiful grand temple now dominates the town of Bo, honoring the memory of our late king. People travel many li to visit the temple and offer homage to his spirit, but the new king is ready to move on. And one of the things he wants to move is the capital. Oh no. At the solemn request of our new king, the royal geomancer has determined that the new capital of the Shang dynasty is to be at a site that shall henceforth be known as Chengzhou. It will be located on a hill overlooking the river. To ensure the security of the city, engineers have already been at work on the city's fortifications. Use the guidelines of Feng Shui to help locate an appropriate site for the king's palace. Establish an elite neighborhood of lavish Xie Wans and designate one or two wards for common citizens. Bales of hemp must be procured through trade as it cannot be grown here. Fortunately, there are other cities looking for wood and ceramics. A ferry will provide access to the abundant deposits of copper ore on the far side of the river. The bronze will be of use not only for bronzeware, but also for weapons. Begin training and equipping some infantry without undue delay. You just might need them as barbarians covet the riches of our land. Uh. Well, hello, military fortifications. Um, they weren't kidding when they said military fortifications. Well, damn. Okay. All right. Um. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. I guess we can have a common area on the left side and elite housing on the right side. I guess. Oh my god, this requires people. Oh shit. Oh, we're gonna have a great time, aren't we? The bestest of time. Okay, so... Hmm. Ha 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 ha, this is not gonna be fun, is it? This is not gonna be fun. Five by seven? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's awful. That's four, that's an additional four. Am I happy with this? Not really. No, no, definitely not. That's a big no-no. Something tells me uh, I'm gonna go bankrupt before the city is built. Gonna go bankrupt before this damn city is built. Yeah, screw that road. Okay, um... That might work. But nicely. Have my budget gone already. Rip. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna remove this middle road because honestly it's just in the way at the moment. Alright, we're gonna have a well. And have a really huh specter tower I don't want to delete that but 
will make my life a lot easier. Will make my life a lot easier. Oh, that's nasty. That is really nasty. Um, can I do better? Can I do better? Nope, no, nope, no. Nope. I definitely can do better. So let's just accept it as is. Let's just accept it as is. That works. As hideous as it might seem, that is exactly what I'm gonna go for. Those are... Okay, well, I'm guessing they're 10. And I gotta make sure there is, like, a roadblock or some crap there. Okay, so this will be our first housing setup. We have, um... Most of the basic services needed. We still need a herbalist hut. And I'm probably also going to need an ancestral shrine. And eventually we're also going to need a music school. Yeah. I'm really disappointed about this area. Um... I can do better. I definitely can do better. Uh, but how? You know what? Screw Feng Shui. Who cares about it anyways, right? There. That looks a million times better. I'll take it. Uh, we'll get an ancestral shrine, as I said earlier, and um, additional house in the corner. I was thinking about using this as a basic setup. Next up, we gotta think about food, which is farmhouse. Let's not think about silkworms. Let's uh, really just focus on the farmhouse and the fishing quays, because fishing quays actually will be a very nice way to uh, Get some food going into our uh, citizens' mouths. This will be the best city never. By the way, a... Ba -ba -ba -ba. Where was it? Government building? Yes. A ferry does require a 2x2. Two two, and we can build it on the other side as well. So uh, This side will be reserved for the... Yeah, this side will be reserved for the b -b 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 fairy thing magic. It's perfect. I will build it already, but I know that I'm gonna forget about it. And I'll end up building something there, and I'll regret it. Okay, um, also I need to start thinking about militaries and sending up alliances soon. Not yet, but soon. Like a lot of things needs to be done ASAP. That's I think the crucial part here. The sooner we get it done, the better it will be for us. Then outside the building we can build the mill. Or outside the city we can build the mill. Yeah, that's good enough for me. Let's push it one further back. Then we can also get a warehouse. And a second warehouse. Uh, so this will be accepting overflow fish at least. And this will be, will be accepting... Ceramic, because one of the first things I'm going to be doing ASAP is sending up some ceramic export. Wow, okay, Hashang is completely gone. 
Now it's all about Zheng Zhao. Alright, but anyways, that being said, let's... Um, start by building one clay pit with two kilns. Let's keep it small. I always overbuild, like, instantaneously, but let's... Let's see if I can contain myself, and uh, we'll build small. Because all my money is being poured into the city regardless. Like, the inner city. Alright, so people are arriving, which is quite nice. Right, the bow opens up. Ah, alright. He needs bronzeware, rice, and carved jade. He's willing to give us hemp and ceramics. Bronzeware is definitely one of the first things I might actually want to start uh, importing slash exporting. Which is going to be tough because there's not a lot of room to build down here. Um, how about we dedicate a little area down here or up here to weapon and bronze production. Oh, my bad. I don't know if this building actually needs to be uh, secured as well, but we'll see. Also, if I'm clever, I can also set up some fisheries here in the back. But I do not want to go too overkill, but we'll see. Um, like, as the game is yelling at me, more works are needed, so yeah. Shouldn't go too overkill. Alright, so anything you're missing, you just need bland food. Perfect. That should be coming up soon enough. Look at all of that fishing. Holy crap. Yeah, so I could make do with a little warehouse over here that accepts bronze. I don't know if he can actually make it all the way down here in time. And let's instantaneously also make sure that we have a bronze maker. Alright, that's a bit embarrassing. Um, I'll pretend it never happened. <laughs> uh, yeah. Can you actually walk through the gate? No, you cannot walk through the gate. That's actually really, really important to know. So what does that tell me? Not much. Just tells me I'm an idiot. I see this is not a 10 wall. Okay, I need an inspector outpost. Go. Hey, religious services, hell no. Okay, you're allowed to go through there. Now, does this work? It doesn't. Well, maybe it does. No, it doesn't. Definitely doesn't. Uh, well, that would have been fun. Um... Oh, 
Alright. Well, I mean, this works as well, so I'm happy. Probably shouldn't be happy, but I'm happy. Oh, god damn it. Now I'm not happy. Um, yeah. And then we'll pull a road. Oh, on. Don't be like that. Alright, hold on. That is gonna be an issue, isn't it? I hope this counts as a road piece. We'll see. And let's get a food market. Alright, so this setup does have one major issue that I haven't addressed yet. Which is that right now I can't really expand to the right anymore, but... I got a plan for that, don't worry about it. I got a plan. Why am I kidding? I don't have a plan for that. Okay, so all of that is fine. Now I gotta think, is this actually how I wanna do it? Because if I wanna build stuff to the right side, right? I'm eventually gonna need a marketplace as well. Everything's down here. Well, I guess that is fine. It's just a bigger detour we gotta take. How do you people play these games without gates? Um, residential gates are like your gates 2.0. So, I don't even know how people play this game without gates, unless they have this terrible, terrible self-inflicting pain that they wish to cause upon themselves. It would be such a pain. Hmm. I've only played Emperor and going back to Caesar 3 seems scary, it's terrifying. Matter of fact, uh, the best way to go back to Caesar 3 is with the Augustus mod, because it actually introduces uh, roadblocks, at least. <laughs> it requires a lot of uh, careful thinking and uh, careful preparations. But I'm not really great at that. Yeah, this is working. Hmm... High unemployment is a problem. A problem of the past. I just use Roblox to control movement and place the marked inline in the housing circle. Yeah. I mean, I think you can easily then block it off with uh, some walls. Or mostly try to block it off with some walls and hope for the best. Oh, so the gods are going to be pretty angry at me at this rate. Um, that's okay. They're allowed to be angry. I will be angry at myself as well. Salamanders? What the hell? I don't think we're producing enough food. We're most definitely not producing enough food. Shit. Alright, which brings me to the farmhouse. Uh, yeah, this is gonna be awkward. Okay, let me just think this through real quick. This right here is fertile farmland, which is what I'd love to use. But how would I get it to my... My stuff? Quite easily, I suppose. So 3x3 three three area, that should roughly about cover it. Alright, so have a millet field. And half a cabbage field. I know it's not half, half by half. I screwed up. Hmm. 
Okay, that takes care of that. And I need one warehouse down here. And this warehouse will be accepting both cabbage and millet. Let's not forget about the inspector tower because I won't forget about it. But where would I build it? I think this might actually just uh, suffice. Uh, I'll, I'll, f I'll change it later. I'm 100% I'm positive of it. In the meantime, um, I'm going to build a few more fishing quays. Actually, with the additional fishing quays, that kind of makes me wonder. Um, isn't there a better way for me to do this? Uh, matter of fact, um, I do believe there's a better way for me to do this. I can't keep reorganizing like this. It is too aggressive. It really is too aggressive. This is going to cause me issues um, quite quickly. But yeah, this should take care of my food issue. Employees need this fine. Uh, I got to start training with Bo, which uh, who wants bronzeware, so let's at least set up a trade house for bronzeware. Um, I'd like to sell the bronzeware. And can I carve jade? I can most definitely carve jade, which will be another way of making money. Well, at least we're producing bronzeware, so that's a good start. Uh, that being said, I also am going to have to raise taxes ASAP. So how about we build that administrative city? Insider city. Hey there guys, how are you doing? Just like that. Nice and hideous. Just the way I like it. I can block uh, block that road off just like that. So that should take care of the palace and then all we gotta do is raise some taxes. Uh, oh, no, that's the palace. <laughs> Alright, well, that should take care of the administrative city. There you go. And then we gotta, we gotta raise those taxes. Which is also going to require an influx of wood. Um, this is becoming quite expensive already. Oh boy. Uh, doop 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 doop. Yep, that should take care of that. You'll be accepting fish. And you can also accept wood in that case. There we have it. God, we need a lot of employees. I might have overbuilt my fishery industry. Yeah, I might have overbuilt my fishing industry. And I think one farmhouse will not be enough to uh, satisfy everybody. Right, at least we get to sell some bronzeware. But those are some very minor gains. So let's see, how are you guys holding up over here? Um, you're not getting enough clay, surprisingly enough. But the other guy is getting enough clay. So maybe that's just bad luck. But I'm actually suspecting that the kilns are consuming almost to a 1 to 1 ratio. Also another problem is the fact that these guys don't have maximum employees. I 
I feel like I need to double down on the housing situation. Just build more houses. Like have an outset area as well. Ah shit. Yeah, that's probably what I what I gotta do. Um It feels so counterintuitive though. Feels so damn counterintuitive. Alright, let's first wait for our houses to uh, grow up, in that case. Uh, they say they need plain food. Let's see if we can actually push for plain food. I think what we need for it is um, these farms to be fully operational, which we don't have that luck just yet. Um, any additional trade routes I could potentially open? Um, Let's open one up with Bajo. Boji. Give them some ceramics. Yeah, I'm a bit worried about this. Uh, I do know I have plenty of fish laying about. Does that mean I tear stuff down though? Um, I can also charge more wages. That's another possibility. To offset some of the worker count. Yeah, I think I might actually need to tear down some of these fishing boats. I'm just not happy about it. If I'm moving too slow, we might actually get attacked before I have an army ready. Uh, for that we need an infantry fort, we do have the fortifications and we need a few weaponsmiths. I probably also need to build a second bronze smelter. Pacho is grateful for the ceramics, excellent. So, uh, they produce fish and wheat, which I would love to buy and we can actually sell them the ceramics. Since they are respectful to us, we're going to ask them to open up a trade relations with us. And before you know it, we're going to make mad cash. And then I forget to build an uh, army and die. <laughs> what was our goals again? I kind of forgot. Oh yeah, right. Mother Shiyane. Or Shayun? Tihayun? Yeah, big houses. Modern big houses. Yeah, we're stagnating at the moment. Um... Yeah, they also need hemp. Alright, I made up my mind. We're gonna get a smaller trashy village. Same dealio. Um, it's gonna have a size of that. Great Vibaggio opens up. And that is really good to know. Uh, let's be quick about this. So what I need uh, right off the bat is we're gonna need a well. So, well, 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 consider that done. I really shouldn't be saying that. That is, that's god awful. Um, yep. Herbalist stand. Then I need a watchtower. I build a few ground ways to connect them. Ideally, I also will provide a market, provide them with some food to keep them subdued, happy, and, you know, on the road to expansion themselves as well. But I also do want to raise taxes here, so let's build a tax office too. Sometimes it's all about finding the right uh, type of balance. Damn. I don't think a tax office was that cheap. Nope, it most definitely wasn't. Okay, that takes care of that. Then over here we're gonna have that entire thing that I just talked about. Um, the marketplace that I would love to have. That I would love to have, let's see, common market square. Alright, I'd like to undo that matter of fact. So I just realized I made a dumb mistake. 
So I'm gonna need, let's see, uh, we'll have a road over here. Size of two. Yeah, this will do the trick. So we'll make sure we have ample uh, ample space. And then I slap down that marketplace. With Inspector Hut. Look at that. Ain't it uh, beautiful? I mean, not for my cash reserve. My cash reserve is hurting. <laughs> Oops. Uh, but yeah, that works. If I disconnect these two from one another, uh, the tax office won't be able to get their route though. Damn. Thought I was being clever there for a moment. And gardens are a lot cheaper than uh, rentways. Right, population milestone of a thousand. Anyways, there's very nice fertile ground down here that I'd like to exploit. With some farmhouses. So let's get that done. Also, uh, besides that, I would love to build... What was it again? Yeah, I was afraid of that. Okay. Um, I'd love to build a mill. Yep, 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 yep. All 200% take that. So that is decent enough location for me. It's covered by this watchtower, and all I gotta do down here is uh, just plonk down two farmhouses. Even though the water won't be too great there. Hmm. Okay. I'm starting to feel the burn when it comes to uh, available spaces. Also, I think there is a slight bit of overlap. Yeah, there is a slight bit of overlap. Alright, the rest can be cabbages. I'll carve a path right over here. Technically speaking, I also would like to connect the other side. And we'll see how that goes. Yep, that is 100% not going to backfire. Um... Now this at least expands my food industry quite significantly for non uh, non fish. We are also now in the negatives. Uh, let's not talk about that part. That's unfortunate. But I think we just also had a trade route that popped up. Ooh. Okay. All right, that's not great. Um, I wasn't expecting a sea route. Yeah, I can delete the one all the way in the back here. That's... F oh my god. Um, can I undo that? Thank you. <laughs> I did not expect that thing to be that large. Uh, shoot. I completely forgot all about it. Okay, I think I'm going to make some real quick uh, tweaks and minor modifications here. Um, so, one thing that stood out to me... is that this contains a 4x4 four four block in the back. Which means it can be built here, but it could be built here. It's very fun when they say here and here without, you know, that much clarification. These two fishing crates got to go. That clay has to go. Yeah. Yeah. 
And I think I'm about to have quite a bit of bad luck here. Uh, the ferry landing has to go. Ooh. We just sunk the, uh, we just sunk the ferry and turned into a bear. It was unbearable. Employees needed. Uh, so yeah, I would like to sell some ceramics and I'd love to buy some wheat. We can also buy some bronze if I need to, uh, give myself a significant, uh, Construction boost. Ooh, pay homage to your ancestors or they might grow angry. Uh, let's start doing that with fish. We have so much fish available, we can easily do that. Okay, well, a little bit of a reshuffle, but in the end it worked out in my opinion. Looks good enough to me, but I never rebuilt that clay pit, did I? Uh, let's rebuild the clay pit. And let's verify that our walker can actually easily reach this and we didn't create some kind of like self-destructive setup that is just bound to explode. Are those towers manned? Yes, yes they should be. Well, not at the moment, but I guess we can uh, mend them whenever, whenever the time comes. What about the gates? Same dealio for the gates. Why are you guys devolving? Plant food. Nice. Get back in here. Why did he not fully complete the circle? Oh no. No, 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 no. Woofy demands silk. I'm, I'm busy, heroes. I'm busy. I'm at there. Take my fish. Can I buy silk from somebody so I don't get my ass kicked? The answer is no. So I'm actually kind of worried that my... My lady down here. Appetizing food, okay. Um, my market lady is going to go all the way across the owl to pick up the stuff she needs, which will be quite unfortunate. Nope. We're good. We're good for now. Um, so Kufu wants silk. Notice how I still haven't been able to upgrade my houses beyond this crappy, uh, crappy setup. Because they need hemp. Guess what I haven't been producing? Hemp. Because I've been too busy getting workers and failing at it. I'm quickly gonna make a save that's called shit, because that's literally what's happening here. It's a shit show. Let's get some hemp in here. I think I built way too many of these. Uh, it's a problem for future me. Current me wants to uh, solve other problems first. Oh, I have to import hemp? Okay. Alright. Guess we're gonna be importing hemp. Sweating intensifies. Oh shit. Wait, we can produce silk ourselves. Um Alright, we can produce silk ourselves. Is that a great idea? Of course it is. I 
And then we get a silkworm shed. Um. Yeah, I just have some uh, very gentle, worrisome concerns. That's all. Don't worry about it. Right, and he's angry. Let's give him some fish as well. <laughs> I give him like a giant tray of fish and he's unhappy about it. Got to build an ancestral shrine. <laughs> you can't be serious, really. You all know it's better to give than to receive, especially to me. Uh, I mean, to your government. Um, I know you demand bulks of silk. One cash uncollected this year. Gasp. Okay. It's funny because I feel like building this block has uh, just wasted more jobs than created, but... Some of these uh, expansions were quite aggressive. Also, we're now officially producing silk as well, uh, which is worth keeping in mind. Uh, so, real quick. Kofu would love to buy my silk and bronzeware and that's it. Okay, well, um, I would love to trade with them, so let's see if we can do that in the near future. Whereas Bompu would love to buy fish and carve jade. Is there anybody who actually exports regular jade? Yeah, there's only one person, isn't there? Yep. Kofu, okay. All right, um... Oh boy. I have a really bad feeling about it. I think building the city over here was a pretty dumb idea. Not gonna lie. All right, so I only wanna... Distribute bland food. I wish I could restrict the f uh, food types they could use, but doesn't seem to be the case. And I do not want to bring... Where the hell do I get wheat from? Am I importing wheat? I am buying wheat. Hell no. You guys can shove that wheat where you don't see it. AKA not here. Needs music to evolve. We can take care of music school. Requires a wheat. Bastard. Okay, happy new year. Ooh. What bonus would you like to receive? How about you give me... Improved production yields. Also, we are slowly going bankrupt. Did I say slowly? I meant quickly. Oh, the ceramics and stuff should take care of that. So how were our last year's expenses in that case? Um, import was 700. It's construction that really was crippling. Ooh, elegant dwellings. Employees needed. The fact that that message just showed up actually is quite promising for me. Uh, so now that all of that's been taken care of, it's time to double down on the bronzeware, since I think multiple people wanted to buy bronzeware. 
actually no. Let's first take care of our tax rate. Uh, sorry, wage rate. Let's push that down. Now I can start thinking about expanding my bronze facilities. Let's first see if we can actually get into the positives as well. I kind of feel like the answer is no. No, I can't. The Nomad Camps launches an invasion. Oh, okay. Alright, well I was afraid of this. I should have focused way earlier on um, import and export I suppose. Like for example I have a silk area I'm not currently using, that's pretty much a mistake. So how can I rectify this to the best of my extent? How can I make this a lot better? I can't. It's time to uh, roll out the military. Them throughout the military, yeah. All right, let's hope for the best then. Um, I kind of was hoping to be able to make some money, but it looks like uh, that's already out of the question. I might also need to raise more taxes, but let's not even get into that. I'd love to be able to sell some silk, and let's make sure that our ancestors don't want to chew my face off. Which, surprise surprise, they actually do want to do. Yeah, I should have focused way more aggressively on exports. Could have done a lot of things better. I don't think uh, I don't think to accept that the lions. What about Bo? Bo doesn't really care about me. Uh, Bunjo, how about we have an alliance as well? How about we also open up a trade agreement? A uh, trade agreement. Uh, I think uh, I think I'm about to bite the bullet here. I think I'm about to bite the bullet here. Oh! We actually ended up with a positive cash flow. I did not increase my taxes, but they keep saying like the taxes are too high. I don't know what they're talking about. Alright guys, we're gonna be fine. Um, Alliance rejected. Shit! Alright. Okay, I'm about to get my ass kicked. Gotcha, gotcha. That's gonna be fine, don't worry about it. We have one whole soldier who will be able to defend us. I might just need to, uh, to defend myself. I think they're gonna tear this entire city down. You surrender or lose the game. Happy New Year, do you wish to celebrate it? No. Now oh, here's a fun fact. I actually considered like, oh, I might be able to surrender and we'll be fine. Yeah, no. <laughs> no. Men. Men all of it. Let's go to my industry. Let's see, what can we quickly turn off? Let's turn off our... Bronzeware. Weapons. Silk. Anything else? Wood. And bronze. That should allow us to uh, survive for a bit longer. No, we do not want to leave Emperor. Ok, 
familiar. <laughs> Come on. What you talking about? What you talking about, failure? We had that. <sighs> I know what went wrong. Oh man, I didn't even save, did I? Didn't even save. We had that easily. Was this prior to me actually getting attacked? I think it might have been. Yeah, this is when it was still bankrupt. Um, hmm. You know, that, that, that causes me to think quite a bit. Um, I am manning the towers way too uh, prematurely, that's for certain. It would be very nice to actually export that silk to somebody. Who would like some silk? Is it bow? No. Is it bumpo? No. Bacho? Quofu. Yeah, it's Quofu. Uh. They should be launching an invasion soon, TM. And one additional bronze smelter. I don't know. Um, I was definitely not quick enough. Why does this keep happening? Like the sad part of all is, I think if I had screwed around less with uh, trying to build that second city and more with trying to make sure that nothing uh, blows up in my face, um, we would have been fine. <laughs> we would have been more than just fine. But yeah, so the plan is fairly simple. Um, I'm gonna enable the towers. I'm gonna hold my infantry back. Uh, we'll watch some things burn to a crisp. It's gonna suck, but we can rebuild. That's the important part. We can rebuild. I don't know. It kind of sucks that we have to buy hemp as well. Which is probably what I should be doing. Um... Yeah, these guys are going to run out of hemp soon enough. In two months, they will just, uh, they will arrive to kick my ass. Okay, well shit. So I think we're only going to be able to create roughly about two units. Should have turned off the bronzeware. Let's do that right now. Alright guys, keep it up. So once they're actually here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn on the towers. And I'm gonna hold these guys back and probably uh, stick them somewhere in the back. So they have to charge my units. If they don't kill my units, they have to destroy the wall. And I don't think they're gonna be able to destroy the wall. So as a result, uh, we'll just shoot them down one by one. And there they are. Okay, let's uh, mend the towers. Yep. There goes my granary. There goes my stockpile. Oh man, these things were bound to happen. If we can kill the horses, we're gonna be fine. And then we'll just rebuild. So they seem to have four horses uh, standing about. Oh, 
Why is there a fire in the city? Oh, I know why. But there you have it. Um, invasion force is defeated. I didn't even have to lift my fingers for it. Uh, but it comes at a pricey cost. Very pricey cost. Alright, well, let's at least rebuild those items. The walls are 100% good. Can't wait for them to bring uh, siege units next time around to just completely knock down my walls. Now let's hope that... Um, there we go. We're not going to be losing out on everything. Uh, you know, massive devolution and the likes. Uh, eight cabbages. No, wait, actually, I think I was also accepting wood here, wasn't I? Yeah, 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 yeah. We need wood. Where is it? There it is. Alright, employees need it. Yeah, that might actually spell massive devolution. That it does. Well, we survived. That's the important part. Alright, let's go to industries and turn on our bronzeware again. So I guess the next thing I want to do right off the bat, uh, after experiencing that, um, prepare for the next invasion, which is going to require, of course, a cash influx. And what better way of cash influx than with a bunch of bronzeware? Going to run out of people massively. Mark my words, I'm gonna run out of people massively. Workers needed times 1000. Times one million. All right. Um, what was the message about? Wofu becomes hosta. How about we unhosta? Let's de-escalate, my friend. Let's de-escalate. Can we de-escalate? Sure, we can de-escalate, right? Um, but yeah. So the next step will be to appease to the gods because the gods probably will want to chew my face off by now, and I don't really have anything to de-escalate with. Shit. Oh shit, um, let's stop buying hemp for now. Damn, that went quick. Oh, just uh, casual 233 uh, workers needed, nothing uh, to worry about. Okay. Come on, buddy. We don't need to be hostile. We just need to be friends. We're gonna umpour ourselves, don't worry about it. Okay, that is fine, that is fine. This is most definitely not fine, but we, uh, it will do, it will do. on really really buddy no, I don't have anything to give you I know you're mad I'm mad as well we're both mad the 
gods are mad. I, I have nothing of value. I mean, I, I can give you fish. That's it. I know you don't care for fish. You, you'd love to get your hands on some bronzeware or silk. Hmm. Yeah, this is a disaster. Basically, um... There were issues early on that I couldn't resolve that I should have resolved. Happy New Year. Uh, yeah, sure. Take my money, you little bastards. Hey now, don't hate on the towers. I'll see if I can beat up his invasion forces. Best bet I have. Um, make my best bet I have. Stop being so angry. Okay, I'm starting to accept that there might actually be no way out of this anymore. Do I have access to an acrobat guild? I do not have access to acrobats apparently. And what type of stupid stuff is this? So we're stuck with ele elegant dwellings. Um, unoccupied, yeah. Let's see if they're gonna be attacking from the same spot again. Ah, uh, this is bad. This is bad on so many levels. I need more trade. That's that's the main issue here. I need more trade. Maybe I need more people. Where are you going? Ah, oh, come on. Don't be like that. Probably gonna blow up my walls, isn't he? Probably gonna blow up my walls. Are we winning or are we dying? I think we're dying. Just go home, guys. Just go home. It's fine. Fucking idiots. Oh my god. Okay. 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 I'm having a big thinking moment. No, 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 no. No. No, 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 no. This is not working out the way I want it to work out. Um. Oh, I'd have to restart the entire mission. There is too much wrong with this, in my opinion. There is too much damn wrong with this. And it requires me to uh, basically redo this from scratch. Uh, basically, the farms here are just done incorrectly. I think the food area should have been up here instead of um, all the way down here. We could have fished along this coast. Uh, then our food would have been unified in a singular place. Provide food from the top instead of the bottom. And we could have taken a very similar approach. 
And then I could have dedicated more areas to industry over here and probably put down some um, raw silk processing. Because the fisheries are too spread out, it's it's pretty disgusting. How's fertility? Fertility over here is pretty decent in my opinion. Um, this is very arrogable compared to... Um, well, this is also very arrogable. But this allows me to consolidate my food production a lot better. Which I'm currently not doing. So basically, let's say that we replay this mission, right? Pretend that never happened. Because uh, we, we have the, the, the wonders of... Um, active imagination. Um... I wasn't very happy with my city setup either. To be fair. But I think it's still the best that I could get out of it. Still the best I could get out of it. Alright, um... I think this was just a bit too large, but whatever. Let's go. Uh, there is definitely a better way of doing this. My brain is just refusing to come up with uh, what it is. And that's alright, you know. That's perfectly fine for me. Ah, right, yes, the marketplace. Might, uh, might become quite disgusting. Okay, uh, let's get some red residential uh, areas. Perfect. That takes care of that problem. Then we move on to the next one, which is we got to build a whole bunch of buildings. So let's get that done as soon as possible as well. The inspector hut. Uh, the watchtower. Just notice that I'm actually a bit offset as well. So this is going great already. It's going fantastic. Oh, come on, brain. Then we have the herbalist. Ancestral Shrine. Oh no. He sees the plan. That can't be good. Hey there, Kolongo. Yeah, Emperor is pretty good. Pretty fun. It's gonna cause issues, this little square. You're gonna build another market on the other side and connect it to the another housing block. Yep. That's the plan at least. And that should connect to the uh, elite residential areas. The only downside is um, how am I gonna get all the crap from down here all the way up. I think I need bronzeware and I might need some silk as well which I might dedicate down here. But at least my food will be in a general area, and I'm not having it split 50% up, 50% down. Or is this the part where you're gonna slam me that? It's a terrible idea. <laughs> uh, oh no, this, this actually is offset by one. Shit. Well, uh, whatever. I'll, uh, I'll make do. I'll figure it out. 
Uh, we still have that administrative city we're gonna have to build. I'll probably build it outside the walls, just to give me, uh, give me some extra space. Not sure what to do with this empty space down here then, but whatever. But that's our primary setup. Let's actually uh, slap in all those houses that we can. Okay, that takes care of all of that. Hopefully that will make people very happy, we'll see. Um, yeah, this, this is pretty uh, screwed up. Next up. Next up, next up. Ne oh, I can always move the gates and stuff like that. Interesting. Uh, probably very expensive. So next up is food. So when it comes to food, I actually want to exploit this area as much as I can. Um, Starting with the fishing quest. Uh, okay, that actually is pretty rough. Holy crap. Um, any chance that I could set up a ferry to go to the other side? Not really. Um, well, kinda. But I don't think I want to do that. That's a waste of um, jobs. It will take too long to go from this side to this side and then deliver the fish. Can I actually exploit this? Is there anything I can do with this? God. Okay, I gotta admit, the fishing locations here are awful. I thought I could easily fit in two of them over here, but it turns out it's just one. Same with this area, same with that area, sure. Gonna have to make do in that case. Make do with what I got. Now I'm actually highly concerned that this is too far, too far away. We won't recover, this is the end. This is how it all ends. It's how it always would have ended. Um, yeah, that, that will work. And I'll figure out from that point forward. Okay, I need an inspector hut. Which is not connected to a road. Now it is. Excellent. Okay, so that takes care of that. That's quite nice. Uh, then we're gonna have a cabbage field. And we're gonna have a millet field. I like millet. And we're gonna have a bunch of salamanders uh, roaming about apparently. Okay, so people are flocking to the city. That's gonna be quite nice. Next up, I'm gonna need a mill. Gonna need an inspector tower to take care of the mill. And I'm gonna need at least two warehouses. Let's start with one. And this warehouse is just simply uh, responsible for... Let me think. What is this warehouse going to do? This warehouse should be accepting... Hemp. Okay. Also, I should not be doing what I just did. I'm going to forget there's a roadblock over there. And yeah, sometimes you just got to know yourself. And how you're gonna screw up. You accept hemp, you accept all of that, that's perfectly fine. I wonder if they're actually willing to deposit in warehouses that are closer by. I think they're gonna go for the ones that say get. 
I don't think that's gonna work the way I want it to work. And I do want to build a... Or I do want to get a second farmhouse. That will also produce millet and uh, cabbage. And this should be enough for a lifetime. Did my inspector just die to a... Yes, he did. Salamanders are aggressive, gotcha. Alright, change of plans. Minor... Change of plans. Alright, fight me. Oh yeah, that's right. Who's the coward now? I wonder if they can attack anybody. What? Do they sometimes attack? There we go. That's right, lizard. No lizard people allowed. Excellent. Okay, so that takes care of the basic setup. What are we missing? Uh, plant food, which means that we are missing our food shop. So let's set up food and let's set up hemp as well. Because I know that's going to become quite important soon enough. Now, now that we have that covered, it's time to start putting our sights towards making money. Uh, first one is bronzeware, so let's double down on that. Bronzeware is obtained from down here, and how many jobs do we have? Not enough. Bollocks. So yeah, I am still going to be building um, these things. Okay, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Because honestly, this is the only way. Ah, shit, why would I do it like this? This is the only way that I can guarantee that I will have enough jobs. The only way I can guarantee it. It's not gonna be pretty, but hey, sometimes you're just gonna make do. Gonna make do with what you have. And it ain't much, let me tell you that. I'll fix this later, don't worry about it. Spectre Tower, Watchtower, and the Herbalist. Uh, we also need an Ancestral Shrine. And I probably gotta make sure the gods are appeased as well. Alright, you guys want plant food? It's coming right on up. Right, let's get that ferry on the go. Actually, that's not entirely true. Let's start focusing towards... Um, there we go, that's better. Uh, let's focus on taxes first before I do anything, such as um, what I'm planning to do. I feel it's really weird building the administrative center outside, uh, outside of town, but that's what I'm gonna... What I'm gonna go for, most likely, build it outside the city. Uh, 
That's the palace. Uh, this is the march. Okay, that takes care of our administrative uh, city, which is actually quite expensive on the jobs. And then we can build the tax offices. Now, one more thing worth pointing out in this case. Um, something that's going to cause me a lot of friction is probably finding, retrieving and sending off wood. Oh, actually, we have a nice chunk up here, don't we? Frustration fixed. Uh, hemp and 16 pieces of wood, thank you very much. Alright. Okay, so now that all of that is under control, we can start growing our city. Um, let's make sure that we save real quick. Uh, fish is not arriving quick enough. I think I might need a few additional fisheries. Okay, well... Yeah, my fishery plan is not working out the way I wanted it to work out, so that's unfortunate. Incredibly unfortunate. I think this patrol route might actually be too long, so I am going to have to build two watchtowers. a shortcut to the granary and that should take care of our food fields um, I wonder if they prioritize the mill over anything else kind of want to do a dummy test but I know that I do not have the financial capacity to do a dummy test Okay, so, uh, food is taken care of, jobs are uh, flowing in, we are starting to run quite low on cash, which means I need to start thinking about exports. Now, I was originally thinking about doing bronze work, but bronze work would require me to uh, create a huge set of jobs. So how about we just focus on the basic ceramic uh, premises? No, that's a terrible idea. I'm gonna need bronze eventually. I just gotta start investing very small. Small investments. That's that's the uh, that's the way to do this. As long as you start out small, um, can't overextend too aggressively. Go. Uh, we set up a simple clay pit. And then we put down two bronze makers. Alright, I say we start out small, but now there is this problem where I have to... Um, uh, I do have to build, like, crap, two inspector towers. Uh, it doesn't really matter where I build it, does it? Okay, training station, and the training station will be selling bronzeware.
Alright. Well, we don't need that many workers in hindsight. Yeah, I was afraid of this. So why do you... Why are you unable to make that? Is it a timings issue? It definitely seems to be a timings issue. Oh yeah. Ah, all right, now it makes sense. Okay. Um, I'm gonna quick fix this. Um, nothing to worry about, don't worry. I mean, obviously there is something to worry about, but I'll quick fix it. And we'll be fine. Who did you not play with fire? Myself, obviously. How are you doing, gamer? Okay, now all we gotta do now is make some bronze, right? Like, I think bronze is a terrible way of generating cash because it requires a lot of uh, jobs to set up. We don't have that many jobs available now, do we? But like, what would my alternatives even be? Why are people so angry at me? It's vacant. No labor. Okay, but... They keep complaining about the taxes being too high, but... It's just a normal tax income. I, I don't see the problem. Desirability, Feng Shui. I do not understand why they are throwing such a hissy fit about normal, um, uh, normal taxes. These guys don't seem to uh, to be too bothered by it. Oh, by the way, I should be building a additional warehouse. Ah, there. No? No? There. Yeah, perfect. Uh, yeah, I should be building an additional warehouse that accepts fish. 16 pieces of it. Millet, 16 pieces of it. And cabbage, 16 pieces of it. And the rest can figure itself out. Okay, that's a really nice buffer. Next up is the common market. You know what? I can't afford that. I'll have to stop myself right there. I, I can't afford that. Okay, people are leaving and I think taxes are the issue. If that's the case, I am actually all out of ideas. I don't know anymore. I don't know anymore. I feel like I should have actually been producing ceramics instead. I'm trying to figure out where it all went so wrong and I, I think maybe the pathways. Too high of an unemployment. Nope, 122 workers needed. Really weird. Just can't get a grasp on it. <sighs> Either way, um, I think. Yeah, let's celebrate New Year's, guys. Why not? High tax. You want no taxes? Is that it? Debt prevents it. You 
You son of a bitches. Okay, okay. Well, that's that's it. That's it. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't have the mind to do this. Um, we'll figure this out next time because I, I think I've, uh, I, I need a break and I need to regain my senses. But yeah, my best guess is they don't like normal taxes if they're living in hovels. They just want to reload of me. But yeah, the best uh, the best thing that we can do for next time is actually set up ceramics instead of um, bronzeware. Bronzeware is cool and all, but it requires so many jobs. And maybe uh, avoid fisheries and just start with farmhouses immediately. Something along those lines, we'll see. But that's for next time. Uh, for now, uh, that's where we'll wrap this up and we'll finish this campaign uh, next time. Yeah, it will be fun. Um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do some ex pirates. But uh, <laughs> I'll be back in a second.